Time to play with some clay. All right, I came up with a solution that uh, compromises a little bit with the... Uh, not compromise, what is it? Uh, now, <laughs> it sort of gives me a chance to work on it the way I'm used to working on a horse. Um, and that's mounted on a base. And uh, I can work on it in the round. Now, what I did was I took a, well, probably a half-inch uh, dowel, wooden dowel, sharpened one end and stuck it into the body of the horse and then uh, drilled a hole for the uh for it to sit into and and i've got glue on that and i've got glue on this so i can attach it to my turntable here and i can take the clay off of the uh the uh dowel anytime i want to but uh for me to work on the horse's uh neck and face and all that stuff i'm going to kind of have to keep it out of my hands and uh there will be things that i'll be able to do with my hands in holding the clay but right now it's not going to be uh exactly as i had planned or thought i could do there are a lot of artists out there that are so much more talented than i am that can do this and uh so anyway i've got to let this sit for several hours uh, to set up the uh, Elmer's glue, and uh, then I'll come back and work on the clay. The glue hasn't completely set up yet, but uh, I don't want to have to come back tomorrow. I would rather get started tonight, so. Now, there's no guarantee this is even going to work, but I got to try. All right, I added another piece of wood or dowel underneath just to give it a little support in the front where I'm working.
Somebody was asking me last night about uh, a particular illustration I had in the background. And a lot of these illustrations come from old books that I have. And they're no longer in print, as far as I know. And I don't even know the titles of the books because so long ago I tore the pictures out of the out of uh, the books. And some of these pictures I've, uh, like, uh, this here, we're taking it to uh, local ranches, and, uh, You get your reference material from any place you can. I go into great detail on my instructional DVD on creating a horse head in clay of uh, the muscles and stuff like that and how to create a horse's head. That's why I'm not showing too much of it here because I got it on a DVD.
All right, that's all I'm going to be able to do tonight because it's late and I had uh, gotten started late because I was waiting for this glue down here to start hardening up, but it's still soft. And so I am have a little play in the uh, armature right now and I want to wait till I get uh, that fully taken care of. I'm going to hit this with a little bit of uh, lighter fluid so oh, this is the last thing I'm gonna do tonight this just softens up some of the rough areas I created when I worked on his face on this side I'll do the other side tomorrow it really helps to have the head to this stage so that you can do the neck and make it uh, relevant to the uh, head as well I'll fine-tune this face in the near future but for now this just softens it up a little bit all right everybody I hope you have a great night and I'll see you next time I'm glad I didn't give up on this, by the way. Yeah, I see something I need to do tomorrow. All right, good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.